The pressure is on, and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European... Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. I'm excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. And to... My goodness, that save, fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Now, how about the short corner? Cutting the ball back. Kevin Danzo. And teammates around him. So we can check on the lineup today. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. Here's the side France will go with. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Kylian Mbappe plays with Usman Dembele in the wide positions. And the striker today is Marcus Turan. Gives it a go. That is how to keep it out of the net. Philip Mwene. And room now out on the wing. And the cross goes in. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Firing is in. The save was a good one. They take it short. And he stopped them in their tracks. And the shot. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. This to open the scoring here. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, threat over for now. Chouameni. Well, that is how to play advantage. Careless in possession. Zaybald. Zabitza. Nicolas Zaybald. And on the ball, Danzo. Upa Makada. And a good-looking pass. Kunde. Chance to take the lead. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. And the short corner routine. The cut back. Well, as you can see, it's an error from the goalkeeper. You just can't spill it into a dangerous area like that. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Now mm. well, the managers will now deliver their half time. <laughs> so they get the ball rolling once more, and it's advantage France after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us. Zabitza. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Well, it was an eye-catching first-half display by Marcus Turam. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, Derek, after a slow start where he was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his reward with that goal. I'm looking forward to his second-half display. And France with acres of space to attack.
Turan. An alert piece of defending. Patrick Wimmer. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. He got in the way of that cross. Kunde. France failing to keep the ball. Zabica. He has time to play it over. Rabio. Kunde. Dembele on the ball. Untidy in possession. Exploiting the wide area. Oh, fancy footwork. And a very good challenge. Marcus Tuham. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Well, far from the ideal header. And the goalkeeper had it all the way. Philip Mwene. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left. And the margin just one. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Oh, the drama here! All level again! Incredible scenes! So, back underway. One goal apiece here. Day. Well, the stoppage time situation one minute here on the attack is there to be late drama so the final whistle and the end of an evenly fought contest but focusing on the host